Hey guys, what's up, and welcome back to Film Trendings. In today's video, we're taking a look at some of the most successful Shark Tank deals that appeared on the show. And without any further ado, let's jump right into the video! Tipsy Elves Sharks don't shy away from speaking their minds, and hence their comments about the pitches being presented to them are quite spontaneous. Similarly, Tipsy Elves even got called hideous during the show by one of the sharks, and the majority of them did not have a favorable opinion about them either. Nick Morton and Evan Mendelson presented the shark with a variety of funny and colorful holiday-themed sweaters, sweatshirts, and items of that sort. Though they did ask for $100,000 for a 5% stake, they got a re-offer of raising the stake to 10% by Robert, which they finally accepted. With more than $50 million in sales, they are surely one of the most successful Shark Tank pitches ever presented. With that, Robert also considers it to be one of his best ever decisions by calling it as one of his most successful Shark Tank investments ever, Simply Fitboard. The Supply Fitboard, as pitched by a mother-daughter duo, claims to be fun and an effective way to tone your abs, legs, core, and improve your balance. Lori Grainer, again, happened to be also behind funding this idea. Soon after she had invested $125,000 in return for a 20% stake, the sales soared from $575,000 to $9 million. In a mere amount of seven months after the screening of the show on television. Cousins Maine Lobster In November of 2013, two cousins who had opened a food truck that specializes in lobsters brought specially from Maine came to the Sharks to have their business pitch fund. They saw a great deal of business opportunity in the well-known lobsters from Maine and hence planned on going on and working to make only lobster-related products. The cousin duo was able to strike a deal with Barbara, who gave them 55 grand for a 15% stake in the business. Only three years after appearing on the show, the two kids had 66 food trucks in total and grows more with $66 million in sale. Lala Cup the Sharks are said to have not be a huge fan of child items, but despite that, it turns out that they did accept a child item on their show, and it turned out to be a huge success. Lala Cup has now transformed into a much larger Lala Land, which makes baby products like bottles, cups, and much more. The couple who pitched in their idea was inspired by their daughter of nine months, with a spill-proof design and much more. Mark Cuban took up their idea and offered $100,000 for a 40% equity of the company. Lala Cups then moved on to a larger scale, with further expansion and with even providing to retail giants like Walmart. Scrub Daddy Considered to be one of the most successful Shark Tank pitches ever to be put into place, Scrub Daddy maintains a position amongst the top Shark Tank ideas in terms of revenue. Scrub Daddy is a company that makes cleaning material and focuses on making washing sponges with a smiley face on it. Lori Grainer offered Scrub Daddy $200,000 for a 20% stake in the company, which has definitely been worth it paying back more than $80 million in sales revenue. The list definitely goes on, with the successful stories from Shark Tank being in a very large number. Not only have the Sharks profited from such deals, but even the newly created startups who were in desperate need of financial assistance have been profiting from such type of deals. Well, that's it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, then let us know by giving us a thumbs up. We will see you in the next video. Until then, take care and goodbye.